89% of parents state that playing outside is something that they deem to be very, very important. However, 82% of parents will tell you that they don't have a playground near their homes for their children to play at. My name is Rupal Mehta Saran. Uh, I am class of 1994 from Stanford, and here at Kaboom, I am the Director of Client Services. Kaboom envisions a great place to play within walking distance of all children in America, and we build our playgrounds with the participation of the communities that we build in. Okay, David, here I am. So many of the places where we're building are communities where children don't have a safe place to go. So either they are scared to go and spend a lot of time outside, or they are outside and they may be getting into things that they shouldn't be getting into. I manage two teams, uh, one team that finds the site where we're going to build and another team that works with all of our funding partners. It really creates uh, a win-win-win situation where the children get a playground, the funders get a one-day service project, and Kaboom gets the opportunity to bring the two together. I'm a store manager for the Home Depot here in Emeryville, California. We're here today to give back to the community. Today we're moving a lot of bark, a lot of mulch, we're building a play structure so the kids have a safe place to play. My name is Esther Conrad and I was class of 1995 at Stanford. I work at um, Columbia University at a research institute here that focuses on how climate impacts developing countries. I thought we would just talk today a little bit about the current El Nino situation. I manage projects that help developing countries use information and knowledge about the climate to better manage agriculture, disease outbreaks, food security, and other problems related to the climate. In Indonesia, we work with the provincial government um, of central Kalimantan. In this province, um, they have fires every year, but in years that are very dry, the fires get very, very bad and can have severe impacts all across Southeast Asia. How do you match up um, what's going on with the climate in certain times of the year? It just so happens that in Indonesia, there is a high probability of having below normal rainfall. These fires are mainly started by humans for clearing land to do farming. If you can predict what are the years where it's gonna be more dry, then you can try to encourage people not to burn in those years. What are the increased odds for getting um, sort of a drought or flood? How are we gonna really get this information out to policymakers? This is this is for us the, the moment of opportunity. We're all searching for ways to address the problem of climate change. What I think is important is to really understand our environment. Um, so when we understand it better, we can better plan for how to um, manage problems like floods and droughts. We really believe strongly that play allows for a child to learn so much. They learn how to take turns. They learn how to behave socially. And they learn that practice makes perfect. If you're trying to learn how to do the monkey bars and you can't do it and you can't do it and you keep trying and you ultimately make it all the way across, it is, we think, those sorts of small successes that really help a child build confidence. I think um, the Haas Center was incredibly important for me to understand what service means and to know that it doesn't mean just doing things for other people. It's a process where we're all learning from each other and enabling people to change their own lives. Many of us who are at Stanford um, are so proud of the opportunity that we've had to be there that you can't help but have a certain amount of feeling of I've got to give this back to someone somewhere. Our world needs more people committed to public service. Our world needs more organizers. More imagination and creativity for problem solving. Hope. More engaged citizens. Caring about others and trying to think outside oneself. Our world needs more people who are willing to sacrifice for others. 